Hello, my name is John Rutledge. I'm CEO of Holly Wally, and I am here to show you our product platform and give you an idea of its capabilities and where we're going with the product in the future. In working with over 30 banks and retailers, we saw those problems with identifying the customer need, building an intuitive user interface, and doing those backend implementations. And we would have situations where a bank would have a fantastic concept, but they would not have a user interface that necessarily was intuitive. And so therefore they didn't have a good uptake on the product itself and they didn't see the return on that investment within their wallet. We've seen top tier banks struggle with integrations such as push provisioning to get assets into digital wallets. And this highlights the difficulties that banks experience in bringing these kinds of platforms forward. And oftentimes these are single experiences. They're offering a single capability that doesn't necessarily scale well in the marketplace. So Holly Wally, our vision is to create a number of these integrations across payments and payment adjacent services to highlight and extend the capabilities of the platform. And this provides a much more rich experience for customers and helps entice them to stay within the wallet and transact within the wallet providing greater value to the customer and revenue to the bank. As we move forward and looked at some of the other problems, we created a number of white label front end UX components that are directly mapped to business use cases. And so this allows our companies to look at their business problem, select the back end capabilities that they wanna provide in terms of payments and non-payment capabilities, non-payment capabilities being wealth management, being loyalty and rewards, being loyalty and rewards, being other programs such as that. And then they have a number of these white label use cases that they can select from. That they can customize with their look and feel, their brand and their color scheme. So this combination helps them focus not on building an intuitive user interface and not on doing these backend integrations, but on the customer solution. And once they think that they have a great solution that their customers are gonna love, they can push that wallet in real time to our demo app and test it with their customers. And so this means that they will know whether their wallet is meeting their customer needs and market demands early on. They can do this testing in focus groups using design thinking methodologies or guerrilla marketing. And as they learn, they're able to pivot the wallet and make changes to the wallet to tune it to the needs of their customer. And so that means that when they are ready to go to production, they know that their wallet, their digital payment solution meets the needs of their customer. When they're ready to actually roll to production, we will package up all the files that we've created while, create, while building this wallet and we'll present it to them so that company can submit it to the App Store, to the Play Store under their name and brand. It becomes their wallet. And another important feature when we're discussing this is the nature of our wallet is that we're a native hybrid app. So a lot of business functions can be updated in real time without having to submit the app again to the App Store or the Play Store. A lot of this content can be changed in real time. There are certain changes, of course, such as framework changes, security updates, and so on, that will require an update to the App Store. But the point I'm making is the flexibility and capability of our wallet in helping customers build solutions that rapidly adapt to the needs of the market and the demands of their customers. As they grow, we're adding more and more services to the wallet, and our customers can take advantage of that. This offers a more rich experience and greater capabilities to their customers over time. And this is important, both in terms of continuing to expand revenue and more importantly, maintaining a loyal customer user base. This provides long-term benefits that help both the customer and the bank realize their long-term objectives. Holly Wally was born from years of experience working with banks, financial services companies, and retailers, and watching the struggles that they had building digital wallets and digital payment experiences. The two founders of Holly Wally have worked with over 30 banks, financial services companies, and retailers, 
And what we found is that they ran into the same three problems repeatedly. They had difficulty really understanding the customer need. They had difficulty creating an intuitive user interface. And they struggled with the complexity of the backend integrations that brought multiple functions into the uh, digital payment solution or wallet they were trying to create. So within Holly Wally, we decided that there must be a way to address this problem and help these companies quickly and cost effectively build digital wallets that meet the needs of their customers and market demands. So as we're looking into Holly Wally today, this is our wallet builder. It's a graphical interface where a company can quickly create a wallet that meets their needs with their branding and their look and feel. One of the first things that I wanna highlight is the ability to customize various components of the wallet. We can change the fonts, we can change backgrounds, text color, main colors, as well as upload a number of different logos to the platform. We also have the ability to change, to add and change card art and um, backgrounds in the overall application itself. So with all this, we're creating a wallet that does not have the Holly Wally name and logo. It has our customer's name and logo, making it their wallet. Within here, we have the ability to combine a number of services. And combining these services into a single wallet creates a much more powerful experience than having a single service. So let's walk through some of these capabilities. This is a real wallet that we created for Money 2020 in London. The gentleman listed here is one of our advisors, and he was there showcasing our capabilities and talking about what we can do. One of the first things I want to show is that as we expand this, we're able to see a number of different ledgers representing different accounts. These numbers are quite low because these are real accounts with the exception of this one right here. So we're able in terms of prototyping to build a wallet that has real accounts, real money and real exchanges. And that's important for a couple of reasons. First of all, it means that when a company is testing with their users, they can test this in real time. They can try out the transactions, they can try out the wallet and understand how the wallet will really work in the real world. And the other part of it is, is that because we have these ledgers, these actually span multiple different backend service providers, but it's aggregated up into a single view that shows a complete picture of the financial health of that individual. And furthermore, because we've done these integrations with these different ledgers, it facilitates transactions across there. For instance, we could exchange Bitcoin into Singapore dollars without the end user being concerned about the plumbing on the back end. They don't have to worry about the money flow. We're worrying about that and taking that burden off their shoulders. So as we're going through this, we also like to showcase some of the other capabilities that are in here. But first I wanna highlight how quickly and easy it is to create accounts, issue cards, and manage the overall system. We're going to go into um, manage wallet users. So as a part of the process, we wanna showcase how easy it is to issue cards and ledgers to individual users and beyond. And everything that I'm showcasing here can be done via API. We're using the, the, the GUI just to showcase the capabilities at a high level so people can understand them. Within here, we're able to create real ledgers across our backend providers that we've integrated with. In this case, we have Rails Bank and FTX ledgers. Rails Bank is holding our fiat accounts and FTX is holding our crypto accounts. So we're able very quickly to create a ledger with a partner and issue that ledger to that user in real time. We're also able to go to the card section and quickly generate cards that are allocated, that are assigned to a ledger that can be used um, in, in real time to make transactions. And this is all provided that we've done KYC against the user. But this is how quick, how easy it is to create these ledgers and these, uh, these card accounts in real time. We're also able to add users to the wallet. And so this would allow other users to have visibility into the wallet itself. And this is important for certain use cases, like if a parent were to provide a wallet to a child so they could help teach the child financial responsibility. It, it, it's also valuable when you're talking about an SME use case where a business owner may want to present a wallet to multiple users on his end 
and have visibility into the transactions being executed for uh, account expense management and to ensure that the money is being used wisely. We're able to view transactions and also create beneficiaries as well within this platform. Going back to the builder itself, within the wallet, we are enabling multiple services. We've showcased two providers that provide banking ledgers and crypto ledgers, but there's other capabilities that we can integrate quickly into the wallet. So scrolling down, we have a number of loyalty offers and, and rebates that we can provide, and we also have transactions that have been executed against the, the, the cards in the wallet. So this gives a single location where someone can see all the transactions and everything that's going on within the wallet itself. Going to cards, we can see where the various cards have been allocated. And this is also a location where scrolling down, we're able to see statements, transactions, and offers that are relevant to that individual card. We're also able to make payments via tap to pay and manage the card in terms of applying controls such as spend limits, spend alerts, restricting where the card can be used in terms of different merchant types and categories. We're also able to send money from here and make those transactions in peer-to-peer -peer payments quite easy. Finally, going to the rewards tab, this is a dedicated tab where a bank, retailer, or financial services company can work with their local or more broad ecosystems and create offers that are useful and palatable to their end consumer. And this is important because this helps capture transactions inside the wallet and also creates a tremendous benefit to those end users. So as we scroll through here, these are offers that are bespoke, that are customized to that end user. Today, this is done via sort of a, a logic that we've put into the wallet, but in the future, we're implementing machine learning capabilities where these offers will be customized based on past purchases and interactions with the wallet itself. Going back to the home screen, there are a number of services up top, and these are core financial transactions that can quickly be um, managed within the wallet builder itself. So we can have everything from send money, pay money, um, top up, all the way down, including various capabilities around insurance. So we could have embedded financial services within here, including insurance, wealth management, and so on. So depending on the end user and their use case, you may not want all these use cases to be available. For instance, if this was going to a child, they probably don't need insurance policies. Buy now, pay later is probably not a good idea. Trading and bill pay and exchange is not relevant. However, being able to send money, request money, and top up um, various accounts within the wallet may be useful. And this could help for educating the child in terms of saving money and using their money wisely. So it's this easy to change the wallet and make these customizations. As you can see, you can interact with a wallet builder in real time. So before you push this wallet out to a mobile, a, a, a creator of the wallet is able to see what the impact is and do some interactions with the wallet. Now that said, one of our core offerings is knowing the customer solution. So in near real time, we can push this wallet to a mobile and test with customers in terms of design thinking workshops, in terms of focus groups, or using guerrilla marketing, whatever is most appropriate. So this helps close that gap as well. We've also gone to great pains to make the Holly Wally interface quite intuitive. In the future, as we go forward, we're going to improve this interface and add the ability to overlay with completely different templates. So today we have an easy to use template, but we're looking to improve that and provide a greater variety of services and capabilities going forward. As we scroll down on the capabilities on the left, we see we have the card screen with this is, we can onboard various providers, uh, different service providers, enable and disable different services. And then also within the rewards tab, we're able to create promotions, offer categories, and then offers themselves. And the offer categories is just an organizational tool for our customers to help organize the offers within different buckets that they want to offer to their customers. Bonuses is just what it says, offering points or perhaps cash back to incentivize certain behavior. So in this case, what we have is a welcome bonus and a first transfer. So if people are transferring money in, they're transferring money out, perhaps doing an exchange into crypto. 
we're able to provide incentives to help customers engage with the wallet and see value within the wallet itself. Going farther down, we also have budget and savings. So we can categorize payments that are coming in based on merchant category code and be able to plug them into different categories. You already have a better idea of the spending patterns and needs of your customers. And this helps them manage their money more wisely and understand where their money is going in the long term. Within there, we also have bill pay, where we can do in a recurring automatic manner, or we can do in a one-off fashion or a combination of the two. And so this provides a lot, tremendous amount of financial responsibility and tools to help end users really control their financial future through this single wallet. And what's important for banks, financial services companies, and our retail customers is that we're capturing these user transactions within the wallet. So they have greater insights into their customer behaviors, their customer needs, and they're capturing revenue from creating these transactions. Within the builder, we can create a wallet from scratch within an hour. And so an hour from inception, a company can have a baseline wallet and be testing with their users to help determine if that system and that platform is appropriate for their customers and the demands of the market. There are a number of use cases that apply to using this wallet. First is the basic consumer use case where it could be a front end for a banking platform. They're able to see their bank accounts, they're able to make payments, they're able to engage with that banking platform the way they do today. Within retail, there's an opportunity for a retail company to capture more of the payment experience and offers that are presented to their users and have a very customized experience where they control that user interaction. It's not where they're dependent on a third party or someone else and hoping that they're able to communicate the message, they're able to, able to communicate their brand value to their customers. There are, all, there are opportunities beyond that, including insurance wallets, including wallets that have embedded finance. So we're in the process of working with wealth management, with buy now, pay later, and with other financial services companies to embed more products in there. So very quickly, a user can have a wallet where their paycheck is deposited directly into the wallet, bills are paid, and there are top-ups or money transfers into savings, wealth management type solutions to save and prepare for the future. So quickly, this becomes a platform where a user's entire financial world can be managed without having the wallet sprawl and having to move to a number of different locations. We believe this is a very powerful use case and compelling reason to have a Holly Wally wallet associated with your company. I hope this presentation demonstrated the capabilities of Holly Wally and how fast and easy it is to create a customized digital wallet for your company. If you'd like to reach out and learn more about how Holly Wally can help your business and individual use cases, please contact us on our website at hollywally.com and within the contact page, someone will get back to you very shortly. Thank you and we look forward to speaking with you.